Hi guys, it's 14th Prime here, back with another video review, and today we'll be looking at the NECA Pacific Rim Gypsy da Danger. Now, if you don't know what Pacific Rim is, it was a movie released in 2013, so I guess just, just look it up. <laughs> but before we look at the figure, if he'll still stand, he has issues with standing. Let's take a look. Packaging. Larry pa Hey, look, you can see that. Now you see my stand. But here, the Ye he's a Jaeger. The symbol. Not really a picture of the toy, but it's so cool. And you got a whole city image up there. And then on the back, you get others, which I only have this one. And then a picture of the figure itself. So, yeah, the Mark III going to the box. That's really it with the box. Nothing, nothing really to it. No bio or anything on this guy. So yeah. Well, theory is, and just right quick, I'm just gonna get a quick size comparison. He's basically kind of like a Voyager size Transformer, because there he is next to Generations Thrust. And do I have anything else? Nah, I have nothing else. <laughs> I guess I could just do his next to a bot shot if that helps. Uh, I don't think that helps anybody because no one collects bot shots as majorly as I do, other than Mitz Antona. The only, we're the only two. <laughs> but now let's get on to the figure. And I do like this. It is, it is good. It does have a good bit of issues, but it's pretty good. I, I really like this in the movie. So I like the toy. Just give me a quick little spin around. Now, my first issue with this thing is its articulation, which I'll go ahead and show you. The head does move left and right. It's really hard to do, but you can do it. The arms do a full 360. This can get in the way, but it's like kind of, but it's a soft rubber kind of, so you can move it out of the way. Now, here's my first issue: the arm only moves out that much. It barely moves out, so you're not really getting that much with it. Another issue, the elbow doesn't even bend 90 degrees. You can't... This is a movie where robots and aliens fight. They should be able to get in, into a good fighting pose, or at least be able to bring their arm out a lot, and then go bam. I know the most it can do is uppercut. And ball-jointed wrist. Does have... Can move the ab. Ab crunch, I think. Legs move forward. And... Back, kind of stiff, bends at the knee. The feet are on ball joints, and then for some weird reason, this thing moves. That's what's kind of making this guy fall. But as a statue, this guy is amazing. And just standing there, and I mean, the paintwork on him is very good. This camera does not do him justice. He's it's very good paintwork. Another thing I'd like to mention, if you do follow this line, which I watched reviews of pretty much everything they have in this line, you will know that later versions of this figure came with the swords. You know, you had swords in the movie? Well, this is the first one reminding you, in the first way they came out, and he actually has the little plugins right there on his arm for where you can plug in the sword. You can't really see that there very well. And Kinda. But I mean, it's one thing I kind of like to note. Another thing is, either he was supposed to have different hands or, inter or interchangeable hands because on the box, the hands are open and on the figure, the hands are closed. See, open hand, closed fists. There's a few kind of things I'd just wondering why I guess they had to change at the last minute or something I would have loved if he would have came with the swords but it's not a big deal my overall rating on this guy probably I'm probably gonna give him an 8 he is pretty cool he, there's a few things weird about him and the articulation on the arms I will admit kinda sucks but the paint wise on him is amazing if you want a statue this is this could be a cheaper statue that can kind of pose but not that much 
So yeah. Anyway, light just got really bright, but <laughs> anyway, I think that's about all I have to say. So be sure to check out my channel for more video reviews, and please don't forget to subscribe. Also check out Megatronus186, link in the description below. And this is the 14th Prime, signing out.